Vandal struck in Brown's edition last night, removing the head from an iconic statue of Mrs. J.J. Brown and her daughter. The statue has stood there since 2005, created by the same artist who gave us the beloved garbage goat in Riverfront Park. And KXY4's Allie Norton joins us now in Brown's edition. So, Allie, are there any leads in this case? Not as of now, Nadine, and if you take a peek over my shoulder, you'll see that her head is still missing. Now, residents in the area told me earlier that they have heard rumors that it has been found, but the neighborhood council is saying that they're not going to believe it until they see it, but still hopes are high that they will find it. It's just it really it's a, ref a great reflection of the neighborhood um, and its origins, so we want her back. It's a scene straight out of the popular cartoon The Simpsons. Instead of Bart stealing the head on the statue of Jebediah Springfield, it's Mrs. Brown, the wife of the founder of Brown's Edition. Yeah, I went out and looked at it, and it looked like you know it was just ripped off, like you take a, a, um, a coat hanger and just keep bending it until it breaks apart. The life-size piece was made by well-renowned artist sister Paula Mary Turnbull. It features Anna Brown holding her daughter Alta's hand. Her husband J.J. Brown actually bought the land and developed Brown's Edition, but she was his partner. It was placed at its current location on First and Riverside back in 2005. Having been there almost 10 years, it's no surprise that when her head went missing, the community was outraged. She was a person with a lot of elegance and a lot of personality. So that embraces Brown's addition. So having that kind of vandalism is really painful to all of us who live here. The topic was a hot item at tonight's neighborhood council meeting. Just within the last day or two, Mrs. Brown's head has been stolen off the statue where First and Pacific come together, which is very, very sad. Most are taking finding her head in their own hands by spreading the word in hopes of tracking down the culprit. We would just really like it back. It means a lot to us and to a lot of people. And now anyone with information on the vandalism can go ahead and call that number on your screen. That is Crime Check. And Nadine, we're also told by residents in this community that they're also fine with if anybody who knows who has a head or if you have it to just drop it off at the Museum of Art and Culture. Reporting from Brown's Edition, I'm Allie Norton, KXLY 4 News. All right,